Hello, my name is Alpesh Doshi and I'm a consultant embryologist in the field of IVF embryology for the last 18 years. So welcome to the Certificate of Clinical Embryology um, offered by the Embryology and the PGD Academy. Welcome to Module 1. The aims of this module or the subjects covered in this module are going to be the Embryology Lab, Equipment and Staffing, Culture Media, Sequential versus Single Step, semen assessment, preparing sperm for ART, laboratory aspects of IVF, laboratory aspects of ICSI, the embryologist's role in a collection, how to do pronuclear checks, embryo selection and scoring, embryo selection and the adjuncts in the IVF lab, assisted hatching techniques, Laboratory aspects of the embryo transfer procedure, introduction to time lapse, and how to build up models using time lapse technology. So, as you can see, there's quite a lot involved in this module which relates to the clinical IVF laboratory. The aims of this module are to educate candidates on the various aspects of the lab based methodologies that are used day in, day out in an IVF lab. The fundamentals of gamete and embryophysiology to be understood in relation to the laboratory processes and why we use certain procedures the way we do and to validate those technologies. There is an opportunity to understand various laboratory and clinical pr protocols. Candidates will have the opportunity to build up a theoretical knowledge of the background leading to the optimized use of protocols and culture media. This module will assist candidates on building up a foundation of clinical embryology and to build up the knowledge framework on how and when various processes in the lab tie in together for the desired output. It also provides information on selecting the right equipment for the laboratory, understanding the functional aspects and limitations of equipment. This module will also cover extensive details of time-lapse technology and how to develop the data to build up your own model. This module also talks about when and how to apply invasive technology such as assisted hatching and which candidates are more appropriate for it. It will help the candidates to also empower themselves for decision making which is needed in an IVF laboratory such as when to do IVF and when to do ICSI. So I hope you enjoy the learning objectives in this module and we wish you all the best and uh, we hope to, uh, that this module gives you a lot of insight into the clinical IVF laboratory. Thank you.